All right, guys, uh, got the truck painted. It's in uh, single stage acrylic enamel. Uh, right now, the funds wouldn't allow for base coat, clear coat. Uh, this only cost 75 bucks per gallon. And then it was another, let's see, 20 per pint of hardener. <clears throat> which takes two of these per gallon and I mixed it four to one like it says but it came out it didn't really flow too well uh, hopefully it'll buff out decent but it has a good bit of orange peel to it, it I don't know maybe it was a combination it was really hot in the garage plus uh, Maybe the hardener being a different brand caused it to harden up or dry faster. I don't know. But here's what we got. I mean, it has a nice pearl in it. But you can see the orange peel <laughs> uh, all over. <laughs> uh, the roof seemed like it was the worst as far as it's dull looking like over spray or whatever but hopefully today when I buff it out it'll be okay <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead and try a spot on the back of the cab first because uh, I've been reading on it and a lot of people say for enamel it hardens a lot slower and dries slower and uh, some people say they wait about a month before they touch it. I don't think I can color sand it because of the metallics in the paint. From what I've read that it gets uh, real splotchy or like you'll have metallic here and none here so it would look really weird. But I mean uh, you can see I painted the doors separate from the truck so I could get the jams of it and they came out shinier than the cab uh, but man these new pins and bushings and uh, springs in the doors what a pain but we got them in and uh, got all new weather stripping put on there and uh, I don't even know if you can see it because of the lighting, but back here I just sanded it down a little bit where I put the cab corners in and primed and sprayed a little bit of Rust-Oleum paint on it. And I keep the welds from rusting and stuff, but yep, we got to use this and uh, this is what we got. Uh, in a way, sometimes I think, just looking back, I mean, I could second guess myself all day long and say, well, I didn't do this right or whatever. And sometimes I wonder if I didn't hold the gun close enough because it's weird on the corners, a lot of the corners, not maybe that the one on the bed, but uh, up here on, on the fender, Man, it's just so smooth. It, it still has a little peel to it, but not much at all. Uh, and then, uh, like even here, you, you can see it's just really nice and smooth. But then, as you get to the other parts, it, it starts peeling, like orange peeling again. But anyways, I uh, got my grill and headlight bezels in. Uh, my my parents bought a crumb bumper for me for my birthday uh, so that'll be nicer looking I, I bent up my black one pushing my mother-in-law's van up the road when I see <clears throat> broke her timing belt so I gotta get all my mounts changed everyone to the chrome bumper and I've ordered new chrome bumper bolts for it but uh, haven't heard back from them yet uh, I didn't know where else to get them except for LMC trucks and uh, they haven't emailed me saying it's shipped so I might just put the black bolts in 
temporarily because it's getting cold out there. I think it's only in the 40s today. You got the leaves falling off the trees like crazy. Uh, the seasons are changing quick. Uh, and it's getting mighty cold to drive, ride the bike in the mornings to work whenever my wife needs the car. But this is what it is, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm just hoping that buffing it takes some of that orange peel out. But if not, hey, at least it's covered. It's not rusting. Uh, don't have open rust pits and stuff anymore. And I think the bodywork turned out pretty decent. I was kind of worried about the doors, but uh, and maybe this orange peel is sort of hiding it. I don't know, but uh, for the most part, I mean, there's I still see a few things, but I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, I didn't think it was going to turn out quite as good for like I thought for sure I'd be seeing a bunch of bodywork because this is my first time on doing this stuff. But, uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, I'm happy as far as that. I just wish the finish would have been a little better. But, uh, now I'm just doing a bunch of little things, uh, like last night. Oh, uh, where are they? Oh, over here. <clears throat> I had ordered these, uh, window moldings from LMC uh, last year when I was putting the truck back together and uh, put it, put them on but all these clips they were already rusting and like bleeding down onto the inside of the door and I didn't like that at all so I mean, whatever I can prevent from rusting, I'm going to try. So I went ahead and sprayed those clips, and uh, we'll get them back on soon and get the door panels on. Uh, I do want to buy some spray dye for my door panels because they're really faded out and uh, get them cleaned up and sprayed. But that might have to come after. I've already had it back on the road because... Like I said, it, it's getting cold out there, and uh, trees are falling, uh, yeah, trees. Leaves are falling out of the trees, and uh, it, it all happened within like a week. <laughs> and so, this is what I got, guys. Uh, I'll put in, I might put this together with the buffing after I buffed it too. I don't know yet, but... Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.